done miraculously. So one group of people, the Jews, they insinuate that he is the illegitimate son of Mary because he's got no father. One extreme. The Christian says because he's got no earthly father, his father is God. Another extreme. So Allah tells us to tell them. You're not doing the job. Allah is, you bacha the Quran, you're repeating it how many times? And don't say anything about Allah except the truth. Most certainly the Messiah, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is the messenger of Allah. وَكَلِمَتُهُ And a word proceeding from him. أَلْقَاهَا إِلَىٰ مَرْيَمُ وَرُوهُمْ مِّنْهُمْ Which he bestowed upon Mary and a spirit proceeding from him. فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُلِهِ So believe in Allah and His Messenger, Jesus Christ. What did Jesus say? And this is life eternal. That they should know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Do you believe that? If you don't, you're not a Muslim. We believe. That there is but one Allah and Hazrat Isa Islam was his messenger. So from what Jesus said, you have life eternal. You don't have to worry. You don't want expect anybody to be killed for you now. No kurbani required. Of Jesus or anybody else. No kurbani, no sacrifice. This is what he says, unless he's speaking with a tongue in his cheek. You know, tongue in his cheek means? Means you say something, but you mean something else. You don't expect Jesus Christ to do that playing tricks upon his hearers, his listeners. And this is life eternal, that we should know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Next verse. Now, he looks up towards heaven, he says, I have glorified thee, telling Allah, I have glorified thee, I have praised you. On the earth, I have finished, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. I have finished it. Job is done. There's no crucifixion in sight, nowhere. He says, I finished the job. Now, O oh Lord, you know, glorify me as I glorified you. Give me my reward, my pay. When you say you finished the job, your boss gave you a job to do. And you completed it. Yeah, or whatever it is. You took a little job. Whether it's plumbing, electrician, carpentry, bricklaying, whatever. And now you said you what job you gave me? I finished. Where's my pay? How will my pay? So he's asking for his pay. Did he finish the job? He says he finished it. And what was the job? Glorifying God and telling them that he is a messenger of God. That's all. That's the mission. I want somebody to come and tell me that he didn't finish the job. I want somebody to tell me that Jesus was not speaking the truth. I want them to come forward and tell me. The man said, I finished the job. Give me my pay. He's asking Allah for pay. As I glorified you, now you have me also glorified, praised. You tell me, no, he didn't finish it. I want to hear that. Now the ministry of Jesus was limited. He came to reform the Jews. He came to reform them, take them out of the formalism, ceremonialism, going for the letter of the law, forgetting the spirit. And this is the whole teaching. Again and again, he's condemning the Jews. He's explaining to them, it's not this, but that. He said, it has been said by them of old time. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, resist not evil. He who strikes you on the right cheek, give him the other. If a man takes away your coat, give him your cloak also. If a fellow makes, fellow makes you to walk one mile, walk with him too. He said, agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art with him on the way, before he takes you before the magistrate, and makes you to part with your last farthing. Good advice that. Don't go to court. It's a good advice, I tell you. But this is his teaching. This is what he came to do. He said, you, when you fast, don't fast as the hypocrites do, but fast like this. When you give charity, don't make a noise. Don't broadcast it. What your right hand gives, the left hand mustn't know. That's not Islam. There's only half. And I have an opportunity to explain to you. There's only half of Islam. But for their needs, it was perfect. For the sickness of the Jews, this was perfect. Our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he comes, he is told in the verse that we started with, Wamar Sallaka, we have not sent you, don't make a mistake. This was towards the end of his earthly sojourn. Arabia was at his feet. He could afford now to sit back and relax. 
After 60 years of trials and tribulation, he can now sit back and relax. It was only a question of polishing up the ummah. That's all. Job was done. Not for him. Allah sends his messenger, Jibreel. Tells him, Wamar sanla ka illa ka nasi. Said, we have not sent you, but as a mercy unto the whole of mankind. Bashiram, as a giver of glad tidings. Wanaziram, and as a warner. But the majority of mankind, the bulk of mankind, still don't know. As the Muslim Urdu poet would say, Wakt fursat hai kaha, kama bhi baki hai, nure tawheed ka itmama bhi baki hai. There is no time for leisure, there is work to be done. The banner of tawheed is to be lifted up. There is no time for leisure. What does he do? What did he do? Immediately he called the scribes. Those who could write. He says, bring out your parchments and write. What? Letters to the emperor of Persia. To the emperor of Persia. To the emperor at Constantinople. Heraclius at Constantinople. To the king of Egypt, the king of Yemen and the Nagas of Abyssinia. Five letters. He had them dictated. And five horsemen, ashabas. A horse, an ashaba, a companion and a scroll. 1,000 miles this way, 1,500 miles this way, 1,000 miles across the Red Sea, and on and on. Five people, he sent them out in his lifetime. This is the example he set for us. This is the example he set for us. If he had our petrodollars, and if he had the printing machines that we have at our disposal, wouldn't he have flooded the world with the Quran, I ask you? One man, invaluable, as half. One horse, invaluable, animal. One horse, one man. And one scroll, one scroll. I saw this scroll, scroll like this, brownish, like thin plywood. I saw it in the Topkapi Museum in Istanbul. It's almost falling to pieces. We can't read it because it, the writings are scratchy. You know, we are used to nice, bold hand, round hand writing, like this one of Yusuf Ali, you know, nice, bold handwriting. It's easy for us with the Fatha, Kasara, Dhamma, you know, the vowel points. But the Arabs didn't write the vowel points. They understood their own language. They wrote without the vowels. Zabar, Zer, Pesh. You know, we say Dhamma, Fatha, Kasara. They didn't write that. So it's hard for us to read. But side by side, they have got a transcript in ordinary Arabic. The Arabic that we read. And you can read, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. From Muhammad Rasulullah. To Heraclius, the emperor at Constantinople. I invite you to the religion of God. Accept it, accept it and be benefited. Then another verse from the Quran. Qul ya ahl al kitab. Say, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, ta'alo, come. Ila kalimatin sawaim baynana wa baynakum. That we come to common terms as between us and you. An la na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wa la nushrika bihi shay'an. And that we associate no partners with him. وَلَا يَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ And that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا But if they turn back, فَقُلُوا شَدُوا بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ Tell them that we at least are Muslims. We have submitted our will to the will of God. We have submitted our will to the will of God. This is the example he set us. Immediately he set in motion a process of delivering the message to all the whole known world around him. Messages were sent out in his lifetime. This is the example. You look at the life of Jesus. In his lifetime he never preached to a single non-Jew. He never converted a single non-Jew. Among the twelve disciples of his, not one was a non-Jew. The disciples of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Salman Farsi the Persian was there, Bilal the Abyssinian was there. Besides the Quraysh. This is the life example. His territory is the world. The whole of mankind. But the bulk of mankind still do not know. That was then, 1,400 years ago. Is it any different now? We are 1,000 million today, yes. But the bulk of mankind. Have they received that message yet? I ask you. There are more worshippers of men and monkeys, elephants and snakes on God's good earth today than the worshippers of the one true God. Do you know that? There are more mankind today worshipping men and monkeys, women, elephants, cows and what and what not, and humankind, and worshipping the devil 
they have a Satan worshipping cult, worshipping Shaitan. They go out of the way and say, we worship Shaitan, the devil. They worship Sun Myung Moon, the Korean, in America. They worshipping him as a god. Guru Maharaj Ji, they worshipping as a god. Swami Prabhupada of the Hare Krishna movement, they worshipping as a god. Sai Baba, they worshipping as a god. Today, 